Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bionic Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rao, I'm your host, and I'm back again. Well, I'm getting all these emails, so I'm back again to answer the questions that you've submitted to this podcast, which is great. We're having a great time helping everyone out there, so please keep them coming. And let's get right into this email. It comes from Delio from San Antonio, Texas, and his question is, Chaz, if I strike the ball and it gets a gash in it, am I able to take that ball out of play? Well, Delio, I'm not for sure on how to answer that, but I've got a PGA professional that can answer it. His name is Barry Bonifield, and he works here, and he's a pro at the Crescent Hill Golf Course in Louisville, Kentucky. So we're going to join him on the course in just a moment, and he's going to give us the answer that you're looking for. And remember, Delio, just for you submitting and us using it, you're going to get one of these, a bonnet glove. So thank you very much for submitting your question. See, everyone, it's that easy. If you submit a story idea or a question and we use it in the podcast, you're going to get a free glove. So if you would like to submit, please send those to podcast at bonnetgloves.com. So now let's go out on the course and join Barry and see how we can resolve this question of the slashed ball. Hey Barry, how's it going? This is Chaz from the Hands On Golf Podcast. Got it? You got a minute? Hey Chaz, sure do. Hey, uh, I got an email from a gentleman by the name of Delio from San Antonio, Texas, and he wanted to know, could he take his ball out of play if he had a gash in it? That's a great question, uh, Delio. Thanks for asking. Uh, the rules of golf are pretty clear on something like that, and, and when it comes to the golf ball in play, you want to be very careful. And the best way to be careful is to have your own copy of the rules of golf. Now, where can uh, people pick that up? You can always get that with your local PGA golf professional. And if he, if he or she doesn't have one in their golf shop, you can go to the USGA.com site and you can get one there because it's a USGA product. What does the, uh, the book tell us about taking a ball out of play if it has a gash in it? Well, that's under Rule 5. And in my rules of golf here, it's on page 25, and it's called Ball Unfit for Play. And so if my golf ball here were to have a big gash in it or to be unfit for play, here's what it states. Here's the definition of unfit for play. A ball is unfit for play if it, if it is visibly cut, cracked, or out of shape, but it's not unfit for play solely because mud or other materials adhere to it or its surface is scratched or scraped or its paint is damaged or discolored. Um, what you want to be clear about doing is if you think your ball is damaged and it's unfit for play, it's out of round, you want to bring over your opponent in match play or your fellow competitor in stroke play and you give them an opportunity, opportunity to uh, examine the golf ball as well. So I'm going to put a tee in the ground right beside this ball and mark the position of the ball and then I'm going to show my fellow competitor or my opponent in match play the condition of the ball. And then if they see uh, that it is damaged, this one is not, but if it was damaged, then I could then indeed place another ball and I'd want to show them the next ball and say, okay, there's my new ball. And then I would put it back in its very same place, just like so. Now keep in mind, in that situation, you cannot clean your ball if you're replacing the other ball if they if you do arrive at the consensus that it is not damaged and it is playable um, in the event that you use the original ball okay so thanks for that question it's a great one well Barry thank you for being a part of the hands-on golf podcast uh, that answer was exactly what I was looking for so I hope to see you again and uh, I'll let you get back to your golf game thank you Jazz <laughs>